Welcome to On the Beach at Waikiki, today with Bobby Brillion. So tell me, where were you born and raised? Right here on, in Waikiki. Been living in Waikiki. I'm about 1957 and I'm still living in Waikiki. And you just come to the beach every day? Almost every day. He's here almost every day. I used to surf out public bath right out over there inside of castles back in about 1955 and I went out with uh, this old timer taught me how to serve George Connie and I used to surf out there they, it was a beach boy down here they call him cowboy Tootsie Rosa and we and Didi Kealoa and that was where I first learned how to surf before I went down and then I used to go with uh, uh, Kiave, Small Blue Makua, Rabbit Kikai. That was all like in the late 50s. Uh, right down here there's uh, Gilbert Hisataki, Clayton Goye, uh, Blue Makua. There's still some around, but very few left already, old timers. Oh yeah, the first surfboard was about 9 feet, 6 inches was an old board I bought for $50 was green and I used to use that I used to go down Haleiwa too huh? by Ali'i Beach when I you know back in about the uh, middle 60s and do you have any favorite stories or recollections of Duke Kahanamoku? I used to see Duke but I really uh, never knew him but I know there's a lot of stories not not always related to uh, surfing but I remember there was one story where almost when I was maybe 15 years old all the sailors came down and they got in a big fight with the beach boys <laughs> and so they went back they came back with trucks and tanks uh -huh. and all the beach boys when they saw that because they I think they had rifles too they went out with the canoes and they went out to sea and that was about uh, in the evening that was way back oh, wow. yeah so speaking of the surf out here how has it changed the break over the years over the break over the years, uh, the further back you go, the waves seem to be bigger. They had more first breaks and they had a lot of zero breaks. Where, you know, the surf would start from steamer lane, way out where the, where the barges were, and they would come in. I think over the time, because of the sand build up and everything, the, it's just not the same anymore. It's really changed. Right now, the winter time, flat. Yeah. You know, you'd have to go down the North Shore for now. What's your favorite break? Oh, I used to love Publix and I used to love Haleiwa. But I only went so big. I was, wasn't a big wave surfer, you know. Did you teach any celebrities how to surf over the years? Actually, I worked at the uh, Moana Hotel. I was a beach attendant, but not beach boy. Uh -huh. But we had some celebrities would come. Frank Sinatra used to come just before I started working there. And then the daughter used to come, Nancy Sinatra. Uh -huh. But... Uh, by the time I started working there around 1980, most of the celebrities went to Kahala, they went to condominiums, they never really came around. Yeah. Gotcha. So, do you have a beach boy from Waikiki that you admire the most? Oh, yeah. I admired uh, Blackout Whaley. I admired my uh, brother-in-law, uh, Francis Ching, Fongi, and of course, Rabbit Kikai. You got that old style, huh? old Hawaiian style, a lot of them. Yeah, my brother-in-law passed away already, but Blackout Whaley and uh, Rabbit still going. Yeah. Yeah. So if you had to teach somebody how to surf, what what would you tell them? What's your biggest advice? First thing, do you know how to swim? <laughs> <laughs> then the next thing, you know, we I would because I used to teach, but I wasn't I wasn't making for money. I was just on the side. Huh? Show them how to get up on the board, go out, we take them in baby queens or or inside canoes and teach them how to swim. Alika, they want to know what year you came down the beach. Huh? What year you started coming Waikiki? You, not me. No, they want to know you. That's Alika. Yeah. Uh, he's shy. He won't, <laughs> he won't come over here. Did you guys grow up surfing together or just recently you met no, each other? No, I know him from way back. Uh, he was here in the 40s before I was born. Really? <laughs> yeah. And how did you get to know each other? Oh, you know, when you hang around on the beach, you get to know everybody. 
so I know him. That's Alika. Yeah. He's shy. He won't, he won't come on the camera. Yeah. Just said hardly, hardly any of the old time beach boys are left really already working. Yeah. I would say if you go down this beach, lucky you can count five old timers still left. Really? You know, it just almost everybody went. You know, there's a, there's plenty around, but they're not on the beach anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Okay. Sure.